We're back. We're going to go talk to the scientist then, so let's get that going. Ryder, what you have done here, your remnant understanding, and your Sam should convince Ephra you're an asset. Kieran, I've been thinking, if Ryder can use remnants, couldn't we fix the monoliths? Stop Haval's decline. Haval's decline? This will take time to explain. We can discuss it further when you have time. I mean, hell, I've got time now. Can't I just do it now? You were saying something about the planet being in decline? It doesn't look like it, but Haval is sick. It started here, uncontrolled mutations in organic life. Killing some, turning others into poison. It's the monoliths. There are only two of them when there should be three. You bypassed our security. How is that possible? An alien? Havarl's in decline. If you tell me about the lost monolith, I can help fix it. Reset the vault. It's lost. The memories of its location haven't been reclaimed. On Mithrava, we have accepted Haval's eventual ruin. The memory of the monolith resides within a thread that slipped from our grasp. I'm not sure I follow. Reincarnation. The soul that's returned time and again. An unbroken thread. There was one, long ago, who had knowledge of the third monolith. Zorai. A champion of the Angara from before the Scourge, Zorai's soul has returned and could be made to remember what it knew. But we have no contact with it. Souls retain within families. An object's heirloom tied closely to that bloodline could cause memories to resurface. We considered Haval a lost cause. But perhaps now, there is hope. So we went from being, eh, it's a lost cause, to, okay, we'll work with you. Oh, yeah, we already cleared that, okay. Yeah, that's the abyss that we've already been to. So we already cleared it out, so that was maybe that wall that we couldn't get through? We'll see once we get there. I guess one positive is I've... Already cleared everything, so we should be able to just walk right in and get the Pathfinder, stuff. We are approaching the location provided by Esmus. So reincarnation. I'm just going with it, I guess. Don't look at me. I'm gobsmacked. Any input, Sam? Memory transfer, perhaps genetic. It is not like anything found in the Milky Way. Gauntlet. Got it. Looks like it might have been some kind of glove. Or gauntlet? Smashed, though. Inside, studded with contacts. Could have been used for, for some kind of input. Now we have to get this Tabos to touch it. That's gonna be fun. So, I, I imagine it's similar to what we do with... with Ryder. Do it. But yeah, I imagine it's just how, um, you know, Ryder uses his glove combined with Sam to sort of make adjustments in Remnant Tech, interface with it. You know, it is interesting to think that without the development of Sam, there wouldn't be any sort of interaction with the Remnant technology, and the Andromeda Initiative would be completely boned. So, yay AI. I guess it's good. Oh. I had no idea. Whoa. <laughs> that was close. There's really secret shit in the corners. Nothing this time. Yeah, so there's pretty much nothing in this one. We just came in and destroyed a beast just for living here. I feel pretty good about myself. I'm just making sure to explore all areas before continuing on. 
which is unfortunately leading to longer video times. Whoa. That looks like a way into the vault. Okay. Yep, that's definitely the vault. Okay. So that's like the full base over there. Let's go back out to the courtyard. Ah, uh, damn it. Don't really want to fight right now. Alright, so it seems like we're at the final monolith. We will continue that in part 12. For now, we'll call it quits and make sure this isn't too long. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next week, and I'll catch you next time.